I think the truth is today was a bit of a ritual. Um, she, in a sense, all that means. Well, Theresa May, as expected, has won tonight's, tonight's confidence vote, but equally as expected, not by a great deal. 325 people said they w did have confidence in the government, uh, 306 voted against. The crucial thing to take away from this, however, is the majority of 19 does mean that without the 10 votes of the DUP, if the DUP, the Northern Ireland Unionists, who voted against the government uh, in the Brexit vote yesterday, along with a lot of other Conservative MPs, if they had voted against the government tonight, the government would have lost the confidence vote and we would have been heading for a general election. So here is a very stark reminder to the Prime Minister that her ability to keep her government in office does indeed depend on her keeping the confidence of the Northern Irish Unionists. And of course, the Northern Irish Unionists have been the deepest of the critics of the government's Brexit deal so far because they don't like the so-called Northern Ireland backstop. In which all her MPs were seemingly behind her was bound to... It's pretty clear from the tone of what Theresa May has said today and what her spokesperson is saying on her behalf that she's primarily interested in finding something that still means that, for example, we would not be accepting freedom of movement, we would not be in, this, uh, any, in a customs union, um, and uh, we would not have anything to do with the European Court of Justice. In other words, she was saying, I'm not prepared to change my red lines. Now, the opposition parties have policies on Brexit that would require her to break one or more of her red lines. So it's not clear that she's going to get much out of the talks with them, and indeed the Labour Party have said they won't talk to her unless she rules out going out of the union without a deal. I think her principal focus seems to be on seeing to she can find out what she can, uh, what changes that were made to her deal she could get from, uh, that, that would satisfy the DUP above all, those Northern Ireland Unionists, together with the Tory Brexiteers who are equally critical of the Northern Irish backstop. I'm going back north where it will be freezing, but at least I can go and sit in the wall. Where are you going to <laughs> The difficulty is, so far, the mood music out of Brussels is not one that suggests that the kind of relatively radical change to the Northern Ireland backstop provisions that we can probably anticipate would be required to win the Tory Brexiteers and the Northern Irish Unionists around is something they're going to be willing to offer. They may be doubtful, even if it were to be offered, whether actually Theresa May could still get the deal through. And maybe, maybe they are coming to the conclusion that perhaps it's just better to let the government sweat to see whether or not the House of Commons does indeed try now to take control of the process and try to move the government towards a softer Brexit anyway. And in the wake of that, in the midst of that, whether the government can continue to cohere and continue to survive, it's survived tonight's vote. But I think in truth, that's probably the easiest of the tests that it was facing.